Okay, I really, I do know that I've been neglecting this channel, which is why I'm really trying to step it up. And I'm going to pretend to be a booktuber today, and I am going to talk about the Fallen series by Lauren Kate. And the reason I picked this book series is because it's being turned into a movie, or at least I hope so. I saw the trailer, and I flipped out. Now, I remember reading these books, at least the first two books, when I was in middle school. So I was really young. It was probably like 2008. And in 2008, we had the roar of like Twilight and vampires and mythology and angels and demons and all of this crazy stuff that I'm still in love with today. So it was really cool to kind of go back to something that I read such a long time ago and to bring it back to life. So basically, the first book, which is the Fallen book, is a uh, about a girl named Lucinda and she goes by Luce and she has been sent away to a reform school because everyone thinks that she started a fire and killed a boy who was there and they were keeping her on drugs and stuff from like being a kid growing up because she used to see these things that she'd call the shadows and they were like these dark mysterious creepy things and once she realized that everyone thought she was crazy she stopped talking about them but they were still there and it was something that she could see. Once she gets to this new reform school, she meets a whole bunch of different people with a whole bunch of different backstories and different, like, issues and stuff, and she meets Daniel. Daniel Gagori is basically the main love interest, the love of her life, the love of her multiple lives, because it turns out that she has been falling in love with him for the past few centuries, and every time they would kiss or they would get too close, she would burst into flames and she would die and be reborn, and then in another 17 years, they would meet again, and they would fall in love again, and she would die again, and it was just this cycle that went on forever and ever and ever, and no one knew why. Everyone was like, I don't know why she keeps dying. There's a curse that we find out about a little later into the book. And basically, she's just trying to figure out how not to die. And <laughs> I really liked the series, but I really hated this series as well. So that's basically what the entire series is about. Now I'm going to tell you some personal feelings on it, and then I'll go back into the plot. I think one of the reasons I hated this book series so much was because it was written in 2008. And in 2008 through 2010, everyone wrote these female characters who were like young, shy, awkward, and would trip and fall and thought they weren't beautiful. And they would get the hottest guy, and the hottest guy ever would treat her like shit. And she would just deal with it because they have this undying connection and it's mystical and magical and all this other bullshit. And I'm just like, this doesn't make sense. I'm really glad that as writers, like, everyone has grown out of that. Because reading this book series was so hard. Because I'm like, Lucinda, pull it together, sis. Like, you deserve better than Daniel Gagori. And I will tell you that in the second book, oh, he pissed me off like no other. And I just really wish she would have picked Cam. <laughs> and I know that's awful, but then I actually read um, the little interview with the author, Lauren Kate, and she said that Cam was actually based off of her husband. So I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. She wanted to pick Cam as well. But honestly, Cam was such a better character than Daniel. Daniel kept secrets. Daniel did not trust Lucinda. And I, under I kind of understand why. He didn't want to tell her too much because he didn't want her to burst into flames. But when they kissed and when he told her, you know, you've been dying over and over again and falling in love with me over and over again, and she didn't burst into flames, I would have thought that she was safe to learn everything. But apparently this curse was like kind of tricky. So whenever she learned something about her past life or her past self or she realized something within herself, she would burst into flames. And that was the real curse. They thought it was every time they kissed that they would, you know, she would die. But that wasn't true. I really liked the character Miles um, because we got to see Lucinda being treated well. And even though she didn't end up staying with Miles, I really wish she would have. Because these, this story showed Lucinda with a guy who did not necessarily treat her right and was honestly kind of rude and mean, especially in the second book. And he was honestly, he was awful to her in the first book and the second book. 
and she still like loved him and she still wanted to be with him I'm like girl he does not treat you right and Miles was right there ready to love her unconditionally and she just didn't take it she just didn't take that love and I understand there's this mystical backstory with this man but you die every time you kiss him <laughs> so maybe you're not supposed to be together you feel me I feel like I would make such a bad like book character <laughs> Because you know, we have this mystical love story, but you treat me like shit. Uh, uh, bye, nigga. <laughs> I think my favorite book in the whole thing was Rapture, which was the last book, and everything finally came together. We got to learn a lot of things about each character, and I really hated the way Lucinda and Cam ended things. I really hated that, and I just feel like they should have got a happy ending like they should have been able to be friends again because we learned that Lucinda and Cam actually used to be really good friends in a few past lives before he picked um, the side of the devil this before he picked Lucifer's side we found out we find out a whole bunch of things about Lucinda and how she fell in love for the first time her first life and all of that was really amazing and I really did like that Lucinda ended up being an angel and I think it was really well fitting. That was fantastic. I loved how she was connected to Lucifer. And Lucifer and Lucinda, they were a thing before her and Daniel. And then she happened to fall in love with Daniel. And then she decided that this was going to be her love. Like, he was not her first love, but he was her best love, if that makes any sense. And it's funny because Lucifer was really abusive and controlling of Lucinda. But so was Daniel. And I think that was a flaw because if you read the second book and then you read the fourth book, you'll notice a lot of similar traits between Daniel and Lucifer. And I don't know if that was like intended because we're not supposed to look at Daniel as a bad guy. But if you read the books, I feel like he was a bad guy. And I don't think he was good for her. And I feel like Lucinda should have been able to find out that she was an angel. And I, I really wish she would have just picked heaven and lived her life. And I don't understand why they didn't pick heaven. Well, I understand it. They decided not to choose heaven or hell. They decided to love each other and to be reborn for the last time, the final time, as humans and to live their life on earth and they will find each other again. I don't understand why they didn't get to just be with each other and choose heaven. Like... I don't know, like, because the throne did not say, if you choose heaven, y'all can't be together. And then, obviously, if she picked Lucifer, he'd be like, you need to be in love with me again. So I understand why she didn't pick hell. But I, I don't understand why they didn't choose heaven. And what's the point of having this epic love story if you're not going to remember it? What's the point? Like... Can you imagine being in love with someone over and over again and finding them over and over again and then one day not remembering any of it at all? And I know Lucinda didn't remember it in the first place, but I feel like it, it would have been really hard on Daniel. And the fact that he just chose it willingly was kind of like wild to me. I didn't like the ending. I liked it and I disliked it. I feel like there should have been a better, happier solution. I really wish they would have picked heaven. I really wish that Lucinda could have been an angel forever. And she could have just lived her life with Daniel on heaven. And the beauty of the way the fourth book was written, the way she described the fall, the angels, heaven, the throne, all of that was amazing. I just hated Daniel as a character. I think Daniel could have kissed my ass because I wouldn't have been with him. If I was Lucinda, if Lucinda had been reincarnated into me, we wouldn't have fell in love despite whatever connection his body makes me feel and the way he looks at me fuck that nigga that nigga ain't shit <laughs> because in the first book when they first met he flipped her off that would have been enough for me to not want to be with him that right there would have been enough I would have been like okay you're not cool goodbye like and that just would have been the end of it and I don't know if it's because Lucinda didn't have any self-control or if that was just supposed to be sexy and intriguing to, like, teenagers in 2008. I don't know. It's not intriguing to me. I'm pretty sure it was intriguing to me when I first read the book. And I was like, oh my god, he's so, like, dark and dirty. Like, I was probably like that or something. But now, as a 19-year-old girl, if a man ever flipped me off and then was like, we have this connection, 
I love you. I would be like, get the fuck out of my face. Like, who are you? Who are you and why are you being like this? I really liked Arian. I think Arian was my favorite character out of everybody. Arian, Shelby, Miles, Lucinda, Cam. Oh, and then the teacher duo. The demon and the angel who were married and in love. I really liked them too, I think. Also, I got to see Shelby and Miles fall in love, and they ended up having a baby. That was cool. I was like, how sweet is that? Because I actually, I really liked them together. I read the fallen in love, like, uh, separate story, and I thought that was amazing. It was amazing. Like, I like how they ended up finding each other, and they did that little troop where you buy something for your other person because you know they'll like it and then you give up something of yours and then they did the same thing so then you guys just have these new things for no reason and I don't know I thought it was really cute and I think I would like to see more of them especially as in the feeling and like what their powers could have been I think that would have been so interesting I really liked the shadows I thought it was so cool the idea of being able to time travel through them like they show you an image and then you can jump to that image. If they weren't so dark and dreary, I would really wish that they were <laughs> around in real life. There were a lot of good things about the series. The series will keep you intrigued. And it kind of drags on the first book. But then after that, you're kind of set. You're kind of set. The third book was annoying. Lucinda kept going through the shadows, watching versions of her past self with this stone guy named Bill. And it was just, it was taking too long for Daniel to find her. I was like, just find her. I was so sick of hearing about Lucinda and all these different versions of her and how she kept dying. I was like, okay, this is really sad. I don't feel like this anymore. Let's move on. Let's, let's skip ahead to where Daniel finds her and they're okay and they're in love. And I don't know if Daniel ever apologized for the way he acted. I'm pretty sure he did. I feel like he would have had to, to make them work out. But I don't remember if he did. So obviously it wasn't a good apology if I don't remember it. But I mean, that's just how everyone acted in 2008. That's how these books go when you look at like Twilight, Fallen. A lot of times these women fall for guys who aren't the greatest guys in the world. <laughs> And I don't understand why. Why do we keep giving men chances? I'm so glad we grew out of that. When I start writing my novel, y'all will never see it again. Y'all will never see that shit from my books. Because <laughs> it's just, it's so ugly. And I think it taught girls to like men who don't deserve you. I'm so glad that I'm in, like, a healthy relationship. Because, like, if I ever had to, like, look for someone to be with, and they treated me like crap, and it was still back in those times, back in 2008, as if that was so long ago, and a guy was mean to me, I'd be like, he likes me. And that's not true. He doesn't like you. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. But yeah. Overall, I would give this series probably three out of five stars. I feel like there were some things that should be better. But overall, it was, a, it was a fantastic plot line. The whole idea of why does Lucinda keep dying? What's so special about Lucinda? What's so special about Daniel? What brings these two together? And what brought these two apart? I love that. And I love how we didn't learn everything at once. Like, we got little bits and pieces in each books. And I think that was important. Like, Lucinda found out that she was reincarnated in the first books. In the second books, she found out that she could go through the shadows and that she could view parts of her life and she was trying to figure out what her relationship with Daniel was going to be. In the third book, she really got to discover how she could go through the shadows and meet new people and meet versions of herself and learn that she is a very strong woman. And in the fourth book, she got to figure out everything everything and I think that was really cool the only things I didn't like about this book was Daniel Gagori that was it that's the only thing I really didn't like he got on my nerves <laughs> he really did and I hated that so I hope you guys liked this video liked this video please like comment subscribe if you want to it's all fun and games here I will make sure I post more so if you guys are watching let me know what other videos you want me to make and I will be sure to do that for you okay love you guys Bye!